So which containers? These ones? Read the instructions. Oh, I can smell the bacteria. There's no bacteria yet. So, we had to find a way to accurately test the water. And I'm not talking about those silly little water tests you can buy in a hardware store or a Walmart or something. I'm talking about the heavy-duty test where you test for bacteria. And not just the yes or no response, but actually levels that could tell us and give us a benchmark to compare it to FDA-approved levels or commonly accepted safety levels of things like phosphorus and chlorine and all kinds of things in the water. So uh, I went online and I learned that water testing is pretty darn expensive, which is pro or probably why no one's ever done this before. So where they have done it, they just haven't posted a video. So we wanted to go ahead and do this for the general public. And yes, I spent my own uh, money on this thing and uh, my son's inheritance too. So we found this place called Car Laboratories in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And uh, apparently they've been around for quite a while, 58 years. But they offer this test for $49.95 in a couple of days. So they'll do 38 tests for 50 bucks. And I thought that was pretty cool. They send you a kit. You go ahead and order it online. You can use a credit card or PayPal. And um, they'll send you a box with uh, four tubes in it. And they'll run all kinds of tests in their laboratory with, uh, with, with numbers and... Um, and, and actually measurements that you couldn't possibly do at your home with any type of meter. Now, we did a TDS, which total dissolve solids, which you can get those pretty commonly. All that is is two electrodes to um, check the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the number of uh, solids or dissolved solids in the water through uh, passing a current through it. So um, you can do that, and you can do some moderate pH testing, although I'm not real confident in that, too. But... Um, as far as conduct conductivity goes and total dissolved solids and bromide, chloride, fluoride, all those crazy things, which may or may not be so good for us. It'll tell us all the way down to 0.1 parts per million, which is pretty darn good. It'll also give us some calcium measurements, iron, magnesium, potassium, sodium. You can look at their website. It's karlabs.com and look at the test kit for 49 bucks. I think they do some other stuff too. Uh, they tell you about some of the other tests out there. There's some that are as high as 200 to 300 dollars, which is nuts, and I really don't think it's uh, necessary to do that much. They give you an example report, which is uh, very good for a science fair project. They tell you the measurements and what the uh, EPA uh, recommendations are for this thing, and if they're acceptable or not acceptable, or if you're in trouble, or if you should stop drinking your water immediately. So we went out and um, we're doing all kinds of water. We're going to do uh, zero water. We're going to do tap water. Uh, we're going to do, we did a sample from our Berkey water. And also we're going to do, um, I think I'm going to do a refrigerator water and uh, a couple others too. I'm still trying to figure out which ones we should do. And uh, we'll compare those results and uh, see what we've got here. Very, very easy to follow instructions. Very easy to pop it back and throw it in. It's uh, pre-postage paid when they send you the kit. The so postage is included, and then they email you the, uh, the results, which is very, very cool. Um, and you get discounts the more you do, uh, the more you can get. And you can also do a single test for about 20 bucks, and then uh, it goes down a little bit the more you buy. So we're anxious to see what the results will read, and uh, we'll go ahead and post them out here, the important ones anyway, the ones that we think are important, and uh, I'm sure it'll be interesting. So stay tuned, and uh, please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.